Oh, hello. No, 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 no. This is a genius design. The rabbit ears hold you up. If you share mouses, you won't be getting sweaty gaming experience. They can't hit you. <laughs> hello, Ricky. Where have you been? Right here. You can't see me because I'm the same color as the background. I'm glad I'm back on the show now. Today on the show, we have something that you've never seen before. Huh, I'm not sure about that. Now let's open it up. Okay, I see it's black. Now's a chance for razor. It's called the RBT mouse. Mm, and what does that stand for? Right above touch. So the B, it looks like a rabbit here. And if you take a look on the side, there's some text. Okay, it says RBT Rebel Reel 1.112. Your new ergonomic gaming unit is brought to you by QuadroClicks. Sounds like a sponsor, but yeah. You're crossing into a new path of switching and clicking evolution that proves superior performance and comfortability, the new reality, QK. All right, so why don't we begin and open this up? Okay. Oh, I like that. It's so simple. Yo, this mouse looks so small. What the heck? Yeah, you know, I'm a huge fan of the tinier mouses. I get so much more control. That's it. You have the mouse, nothing else. This is so weird. And in the bottom, look at that. Two pages, one piece of paper, nice simple manual. They call the mouse wheel the roller. RBT is revolutionary. Tell the world. Well, I'll decide that. So this is the cable. It's super long. Holy crap. It is braided. It's a stiffer one, but it is very thin. So I don't think I'll have any troubles with this getting caught on the table here. You're very typical DPS with you don't really need insane response for that. You just need it to be a small button that you can feel when you click so you know you're changing DPI. And then the mouse wheel rolls through fairly smooth. I don't feel any resistance whatsoever. This one's a deep mouse click compared to what I'm used to. So that's also very pleasant to the finger. It's super small, which is amazing because I like to claw grip or fingertip and I feel like it's giving me that right now. The buttons and most of the top surface here, that doesn't feel cheap at all. It actually feels kind of nice, like the back or the sides of your home TV. So this is an ambidextrous mouse, but it's also ergonomic and we're used to ergonomic where it fits like a glove and it's kind of angled. This is not angled. This is almost like a raised left click and right click here. The clicks are like super hard. You can't click here. You have to force it here. So this mouse does have the right above touch design. That means that you don't actually click with your fingertips. They just rest there. So how would you click it now? So if I'm not using my fingertips, I'm gonna be using the base of my fingers here. Okay, oh my God. This feels so light and so easy to click. So my fingertips are useless now. I'm really confused about this. I'm a fingertip, but I'm clicking with the base of my fingers. Is this gonna change my play style forever? Oh, they're actually so light. You're not supposed to click here at all. You're supposed to click here. Oh so the God. ergonomics of this mouse allow your fingertips to rest. So they're doing no work. So it means less grip is needed and it helps eliminate carpal tunnel syndrome. It has clicked on the left side. So you have a place for your thumb right there, which is kind of cool. So you put your thumb right there and you're able to reach for the clicks that are actually super, super, super soft. Relatively easy to reach because of how low the base is. It pretty much can already press it in its natural position. And on the other side, you have kind of a groove for your finger. It's a kind of rubber finish. And on the bottom, that's a material comes with two fairly large mouse feet here. Let me reveal one last thing. If you turn the mouse towards us, oh. those are rabbit ears. Oh, Designed for maximum airflow. This is a genius design. The rabbit ears hold you up. If you share mouses, you won't be getting sweaty gaming experience. I need to point out, this is not a claw grip and this is not fingertip or maybe not even a palm grip. It's not even a crab grip. It's not a crab grip neither. It's a rabbit grip. So there's only one way for me to find out if I actually like the rabbit grip and I would say it's to test it in game. Let's go to the test station, Ricky. All right. Yeah, all right, so let's test it out to see how well it performs. There's definitely a learning curve, like I'm not used to that. Because your your finger usually doesn't think of clicking where it's clicking right now, so. Can you give it a shot? Oh yeah, sure. All right, let's see. I'm really curious to see how, you know, the timing matches up. Oh, wait. It is definitely uh, less less of an effort to press it, but uh, my timing is so off with this. I just stand still and shoot all these things. This. this segment was supposed to be the part that's pushing down on the button. I'm kind of cheating. I'm clicking here with like my inner inner knuckle part, and it's getting me like better time to click. So far, I'm I'm impressed. I thought it was gonna be really wacky, but that's kind of cool. You wanna give it a shot in game? Yeah, let's do it. All right. I'm on CT. Yeah. No. Oh, I guess uh, we get to battle. I got him. Oh, this guy did see it coming. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
I shot him through the door. No! <laughs> oh, I have your boots. <laughs> they can't hit you. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Oh! Oh, Jesus. That's, that's the power of the rabbit mouse right there. Oh, that's you! Oh! You saw that? I did. I, that was me! You wanna need it? Oh, I don't have one. Oh, I got him! <laughs> That's it, the last guy. Little pube. Oh! Yeah. Yo, I'm getting a hang of this rabbit mouse. Oh, it's actually fast. <laughs> Nobody has a chance here. Oh, I got him. The voice of Genesis. Oh! What? That's not a headshot? Oh my god! Okay, time to try uh, some Fortnite. Yo, there's no more snow? Oh yeah, it's, it's slowly melting away now. Yeah, they're here. I got one. He still has another teammate somewhere. I got him! <laughs> I, hit him I hit him for 100. Oh, I only hit him 66. Damn! Well, I mean, I'm happy. <laughs> Oh no. I killed this guy! Oh, it's another guy? Yeah. I show support from Marshmallow by shooting him. Is he alone? I killed him. No way already? Yeah. That's not good support. I'm a huge fan. Oh, he let me kill him too. Then another Marshmallow came down, he started crouching in front of me. He's like, I'm jealous, kill me too. Oh, hello. What? He ran. Oh, I got this guy. <laughs> hello. Oh, he almost got me. No, 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 Alright, I got him, I got him. Yeah! I killed Ben! Yes! Thank you, dude! He slipped down, he slipped down. Twice. Nice! Oh! I killed him? One more, one more. I got him. Please! I can get you. Okay, I have 8 HP. Oh, he's here, he's here. Oh no! No! Yo, what's happening? So how was the rabbit mouse? I have to say, I really like the sensor on this thing. It tracks super well. We did a little aim test in the beginning. I found myself being able to control the mouse really well, and I felt like it wasn't jittering. When I first used that in the aim test, what also worried me a lot was the grip. You know, I'm a fingertip, and this required to not use your fingertip at all. So first thing I heard that, I was like, how? But actually trying out this method here, it's almost like a hybrid palm with a mix of something else. But even as a fingertip user, I can still click this. It feels a lot lighter than I expected. So as a fingertip grip user, it's still amazing. And I also want to add to this, the grip at first when I had in my hand, I thought that I wouldn't be able to use a scroll wheel really well because usually I click and I scroll. Now because you're clicking here, I thought it would be super awkward to kind of have to go and scroll here. There's a learning curve, but one thing for sure, you get used to it. And the scroll is something really well done on this mouse. I actually like it a lot. It's not smushy, it's very clicky. So a little bit more on that clickiness, I do really like the switches they use in this mouse. So obviously very, very different sound. Right click a lot lighter, a lot shorter distance. 
sense. This is really helpful in game, especially if you're sculpting. You don't really need to have to put a lot of force in order to kind of get like a secondary action. It should be easy. It should be quick. Which the right click is a left click, a lot more beef to it, and it's extremely responsive. Playing this in game, it just felt super natural. Overall, I'm gonna say the Rabbit Mouse is definitely not something you guys have experienced before. So don't expect you're good to go within an hour, within two hours. But if you give it enough time, this is definitely something new that is on the market now and that you can actually use and kind of change your whole gaming experience, possibly for the best. I think the hardest thing is try to keep your fingertip down and just not use it to press the buttons. Overall, pretty great experience, but where can we get this? So you can get the Rabbit right above touch on Amazon and the links in the description below. Yo, I'm definitely checking that out. So we got one Rabbit. Who's gonna take care of it? I don't know. Can we catch it before it hops away? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. All right, we'll see you on the next episode. All right.